Hello, so today I will be showing you how to install mods to Grand Theft Auto Definitive Edition. So I hope you enjoy. Firstly, you need to install Cleo Redux for the game. You can find it by searching it up in the, uh, Google or Nexus Mods. And also you need to install Ultimate Assy Loader. Uh, which you get when you start to download Cleo. Now you just wait uh, 5 seconds until the download will start. After that you can close the page and close the browser. Go to downloads, select the uh, ultimate assy loader. Now go to the game root folder, so for me it is uh, Grand Theft Auto 3 Definitive Edition. You can move into game face, binaries, Windows 64 and you place the file in there. So it will replace the version T TLL with the modified version and now you can just delete it. Now open Glow Redux to the same as you did with the Ultimate Assy Loader. Now you have installed uh, mods, Glow Redux and Ultimate Assy Loader. So now you need to start the game. So it will create a folder for the Glow mods you can insert. Once you are at the menu, just close the game, you don't need to start the game, just close it while in the menu, exit. Now just download any mod you want, for me it is my own mod called Wiko Spawner. So you download it, same process as with the uh, Ultimate Asi Loader and Clever Redux. But the difference is that you place the mod, you download it into the Leo folder that the game created for you. You can see it has Glow folder in it. Now you can just paste it in here. Also be sure to read the readme file gives you all the information you need and then you can just close it and I will be downloading one of my own mods that isn't public yet but I will make it public when it is complete ok now we are in the game so let's just see if the mods work Okay, so let's uh, spawn a vehicle. I'll be taking Infernus because it's the fastest car. You can press F5 to get into vehicle. And as you can see, the mod works pretty well, actually. So now let's see if my second mod works. Oh poop! Don't mind that uh, you didn't see anything, so let's just pretend nothing happened. I have no clue how I managed to fail the jump. Okay, so let's get the car again. Go to the location and of course crash my car. Alright, so now you can see a little P 
peak up the what I am working on right now. As you can see, I have managed to make a bridge here that you can cross because with the boat you you have an invincible barrier blocking it, so you cannot go any further. But with this modification, or this solution, you can actually see the boats that will despawn when you get too close. And you see those are pretty interesting boats. Pink police boats. Ok, so I hope you found this helpful and see you in the next video I make. Goodbye.